Everyone, my name is Pedro Mendez. It's completely normal if you don't know who I am because I haven't been on YouTube for a hot minute. I used to do videos all the time, um, but you know, you get busy with life and then things happen. Anyway, so today I am going to talk about the My Sheming, My Sheming uh, Blackhead Pore Removal System. Um, it's the Blackhead Removal Activated Carbon Mask Set. So, um, I've seen a lot of videos about this. Uh, I definitely had to try it out for myself because, I mean, if it pulls all the blackheads out of your nose, it's got to be good. So, it comes with a deep pore sebum softener, a blackhead removal activated carbon mask, and a skin clarifying pore treatment essence. So, you open the pores, take the shit out, and then close the pores back up. Um, the reason I want to make a video about this is because I haven't seen anything um, from any Americans about this. I've seen Asians and Europeans do it. So I found mine on Amazon. Um, it was $16.48 after shipping. Um, it really it only um, retailed for $11.18, so to me that's good. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to open this up and I'll get back this to you. This little tidbit of information would be noteworthy. I was trying to decide which one to get. I saw this one and then um, one in different packaging. Um, so, first of all, I want to know that this is completely different than the Daiso charcoal mask, um, which is a little bit cheaper and I believe is not a peel-off one. Um, but this one has a little Asian girl on it, and it is exactly the same as if you pull this thing off that packaging. So if it has, you know, the little vacuum guy and the pores, it's the same thing. Um, which is good to know now because I probably could have found a cheaper one without the little Asian girl on. Anyway, um, so the set comes with the three things like I told you, um, right here. Um, and the reason I'm making a video about this is because I obviously wanted to try it, um, and I hadn't seen Americans do it. So now, since the instructions, I guess, were, I guess, not labeled properly, it comes with an instruction packet, which is separate from the actual, um, system. So I'm going to wash my face, um, well, wash my nose, because I put a little makeup to look cute for you. Um, I'm going to wash my face, um, do the deep pore sebum softener for, you know, five to eight minutes, and then um, I will do the the actual mask itself, which is supposed to be the good part. So yeah, let's get started. It's to work on its very first try. So I have a hot towel. I have been just kind of pressing it over my nose after I wash my nose area a little bit, and I'm pretty happy with that. So the pore should be open. Um, now I'm going to put the softener on so it's labeled number one for the people who can't you know figure things out <laughs> too easily um so I don't know why I can't oh okay um so it has like a little eyedropper kind of thing I'm gonna put some on my finger and it has a little bit of like an oily consistency oily, watery at the same time. I'm making sure to get all of my nostrils because that's where I have the most blackheads. Um, it smells kind of fresh, doesn't smell bad or anything. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so this stays on for maybe, I'll do seven minutes. Not five. I did about seven minutes with that uh, first sebum softener step on. Um, I rinsed it off because that's super important. If you don't rinse it off, it's not going to work. Um, it's just because it's like a barrier in between the um, charcoal mask and your skin. And this stuff needs to get right on your skin. So, another important thing that it said in the videos that I watched is to make sure the skin is wet after you um, after you rinse off that first step, which my nose was still damp, um, I'm making sure I use you know a good amount of this stuff because I want it to work the first time. I don't want to have to do this multiple times. Um, I mean, I'll do it maybe weekly 
should it work, but I don't want to have to do it because I did it wrong. So I'm just trying to make a good thick layer. I don't want to see any opaque spots on my skin. Um, I'm doing it with my finger because that just looked like the most efficient way to do it. Um, yeah. So I am going to be applying a thick layer, um, which is good because it should get everything bad because it might take a little bit longer to dry. Um, but hopefully it works. So once this dries, the uh, it says it should take about uh, 15 to 20 for this to be ready to pull off. Hopefully that's accurate. I'm applying a lot, so I expect I should be waiting maybe a little longer than that. But there it is. Um, after this is done, I will come back to me ripping it off. I waited long enough to rip this thing off, and I'm so ready to see what happens. I made sure, um, this is one of my last things I really need to tell you, is I made sure to kind of leave a lip around the bottom just so that I would have something to pull up. Because you are supposed to pull up and not side to side. Um, I guess that's just the best way to get the pores out. Um, I assume it's kind of like waxing where it really matters the direction you're pulling. So, um, the only place I think I will have a problem is right here in the corner of my mouth. Right in the, not my mouth, the corner of my nose. Um, I applied it a little thick and on this side it, it didn't appear to dry as much. Um, but honestly, I'm sick of waiting and I want to see it. Um, I've been waiting for close to like 35 minutes just because I did apply a thick layer so um, I'm going to attribute it to that. Um, I stretched out my nose quite a bit uh, and I'm kind of flicking up on the tab and now I'm just going to um, continue to pull from bottom to the top and see the rest. Okay, that part came off fine. I'm so excited. Come on. I'm pulling it off slowly, uh, making sure not to rip the mask, because I do want to have that gratifying um, strip off. You can see I'm at that point now, and I'm just going to pull the rest. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Um, so... It didn't work too bad. I mean, it's not... You can see we have some blackheads. Those are the little white-looking specks on the sheet. Uh, it's not as amazing as I thought it would be, honestly. Um, but you know, maybe I should have waited longer. It did get a couple of really big ones out. Um, I still do see some, so I'm not super impressed as far as that's concerned. I should have waited a little longer here because it's still a little wet, but I mean... Other places it was fully dried, didn't really matter how long it was on. So for me, it didn't work as well as I had hoped. Um, something you should know just uh, about my nose this day in history is a few days ago when I did wax my eyebrows, I do wax my eyebrows myself. Um, when I did wax my eyebrows, I also wax my nose um, just to get blackheads off and I'm gonna say that maybe it worked and maybe it pulled the little hairs off of my actual nose and the um and the pores or not it, you can't pull pores off it must have just pulled off um, maybe the blackheads um if I did anything wrong in this video that you saw let me know I would love to try it again since I obviously do have the pro the product um, I did purchase it myself. It definitely wasn't sent to me, not that you would assume it was. Um, I'm taking step three now, uh, labeled with number three, because I'm fancy like that. And I'm applying this on my nose. Um, I do notice a little bit of 
burning on some areas when I'm putting this on. I'm going to assume it's just kind of like a toner, uh, which is just going to close my pores back up. So, you know, the product, it worked. I have to say it worked. I see pores. I just don't see as many as I'd hoped. Um, so, I'm going to go watch a couple of the videos that I originally watched. Maybe I messed something up. If you're watching this, have used the product, and no, let me know if I jacked anything up, because it's very possible I did. Um, yes, yeah, so, unfortunately, it is... I probably wouldn't repurchase it based off of my experience this first time. I thought it would be like a pile of blackheads popping out of my nose, but it was it was just alright. So, thank you for watching. If you stuck through this entire video, I don't know how long it's going to be. I still have a little bit of editing to do. Hopefully I can get that done on my phone. Um, if you're excited to see me back here on YouTube, definitely let me know. Give me some encouragement to make more videos. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be back in the... Uh, back in the act of making videos again, but I wanted to definitely review the My Sheeming mask thing. Uh, and as of now, I gotta say, wah, wah, wah. but, you know, hopefully I can get it to work next time. But, yeah, it got some out, so good. Alright, enjoy the video. Thank you so much. Bye.